Jesus, miracles, and you. I'm sure you're thinking, okay, Sarah, yes, miracles, they happen. They happened in the Bible. They, you know, Jesus healed the blind. He made the deaf hear. He walked on water. He rose people from the dead. Miracles. I know what those are. What do miracles have to do with me? I think it's very easy in modern day to say, you know, I I haven't heard the voice of God like from a cloud. I haven't really seen someone that was dead get up and walk. Like, I don't know exactly how miracles fit with me. And I think it's so interesting to kind of step back and say, okay, so maybe you or I haven't been a part of a miracle in the sense that, you know, we had someone walk on water in front of us or something like that. But I think we need to take a, a really deep look, especially this Lent, into what exactly miracles are for. And when you take a step back and go big con you know, concept, big M miracles, we can look at what Christ did when he, you know, when he was with people, he performed miracles. But the point wasn't just to be like, hey, Jesus, like watch me perform miracles. Like it had nothing to do with that. Every miracle was attached to a conversion. Every miracle was attached to bringing the gospel to someone. Every miracle was attached to showing a group of people the power of God's love. So when you redefine miracles and you redefine what exactly the Lord was trying to do and what he tries to do through miracles, even now, because they happen all the time, in so many different ways, we have to start looking at our lives and we have to say, what miracles have the Lord brought in my life what miracles have I seen with my own eyes? And to be honest, what it usually comes down to is the Lord drawing you in through an act that can't be explained, through a relationship that can't be explained. I don't know about you, but I know for myself, um, so many times in my life, I look back and I saw the Lord working little miracles in my life to bring me closer to him and to help me to be the person that he wants me to be. So my challenge to you is to think about in your life, especially this Lent as you're working through exactly what you know you, what you struggle with, what you want to give our Lord through fasting, what you want to give our Lord through prayer, what you want to present to him uh, in this Lent, especially as we're about at the halfway mark, to really evaluate your life and where you see miracles happening, especially with the definition of a miracle is something that the Lord does through either through his power or through the intercession of the saints to bring you or someone you love or a group of people in community or your family closer to him. And my challenge to you is to write in the comments below to comment on where you see the, the Lord really working in your life because I promise you, you will find some miracles in your life and throughout your life that maybe you didn't expect to see there with the word miracle next to it. Know that I'm praying for you. God bless.